I remembered those eyes looking up at me, just being like, I'm helpless. I hope you're not here to hurt me. Please help me. So when we first rescued him was definition of meeting a dog on the worst day of his life. We picked him up and we rushed him over to the vet. The vet suspected someone probably hit him with a shovel. We were among the first people to show him that kind of positive human interaction. And I drew a really strong con connection to him. We kept coming back and just sitting with him. It's pretty good, right? Eventually, he was able to slowly walk again. And that's also when he found a foster with Danielle. He was nervous of the world, malnourished, and still gaining strength in his legs. That belongs outside. <laughs> but he would find ways to make me laugh through his recovery. <laughs> Walks have now become our favorite part of the day. <laughs> Don't hit me with it. The lasting effects of his previous life started to show and he started to exhibit fear-based reactivity to strangers. I was a new dog mom, so I was pretty overwhelmed. But we worked really hard to build up his confidence together and keep him and everyone around him safe. Through his challenges, he continually showed his loving personality more and more every day. I knew he loved me as much as I loved him, and that was the turning point of not knowing if I could let him go. I found out that Danielle adopted him. I really wanted to see him, and because he is reactive, we just like went through the entire protocol of like, don't walk right up to us, don't put your hands or face right in front of him. There he is. We're just gonna let him walk right by us. We're gonna follow her lead. Preparing for him not recognizing me. Hi. Last time I saw him is over a year ago. Can I say his name? Yeah. Denny? Yeah. Denny? Is that Denny? She started pulling on the leash. And I'm like, oh God, here's Denny? this Malinois <laughs> charging me. I would just let him sniff you first. Hi, Denny. <laughs> Hi, Denny. Do you remember me, Denny? I just could tell immediately that he knew who I was. Oh, do you? Goodness. You think he remembers? Oh, yeah. Then do you remember me? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> remember, when, remember when I mean you were crying? It was so sad then, but you're here. You have a person, Dennis. It was just this beautiful moment. Oh, my gosh. He was leaning into me and, and wanted physical connection, which was exactly how I remember him being in Mexico. I was like one of the first people to show him love. It was just really special to see that come full circle. And I imagine that next time I see Dennis, he'll be even better. It's okay, Danny, bye. His journey is just getting started. Bye, Danny.